Morning Cathedral, I'm Eric. And I'm Kyle with your morning announcements for Tuesday, March 25th. Are you writing the literacy test on Thursday? If so, do you know where you will be writing it? You're asked to check the list outside the main office and library. Posted on these lists is the room in which you will be writing the literacy test on Thursday. Changes have been made, so please take another look if you did so last week. If your name is not on the list, and you think it should be, please see Mrs. Siapana in the guidance office as soon as possible. As the test is only three days away, it's a good time to prepare. Plan to be at school for no later than 8.15, so you have time to get to your assigned classroom. Literacy test begins promptly at 8.30 a.m. You must bring blue or black pens or pencils, but it's a good idea to bring some highlighters to underline important information. Liquid paper is not allowed to be used on the literacy test, so remember to read all of the instructions and answer all questions on the literacy test. Use the rough notes section of the test to plan your responses. More tips will be coming your way over the next couple of days here on CHS TV News, as well as on the scrolling announcements. Once again, Cathedral will be featured in the Pulse page of the Hamilton Spectator this coming month. If you would like to display, if you like the chance to display your writing or artistic creativity in the Pulse page, see Miss Borelli or Miss Sweeney in the next couple of days. This is a great opportunity to get your name in print. Thanks, thank you for Mrs. Borelli. Summer co-op applications are now available for students enrolled in the Specialist High Skills Major program. If you're having trouble fitting co-op in your schedule, this could be the opportunity for you. Please see Ms. Kasemba in the guidance office during period 5 to pick up an application package and take advantage of this great opportunity to achieve two cre credits while exploring the workplace. And now, I'll pass it over to Monica and Miranda who have your weekly Council Corner update. Hey Cathedral! If you like to draw, paint, make banners, or e if you are even considering running for publicity rep on Student Council, this is a great opportunity for you to join the Banner Committee. The Banner Committee will be in charge of coming up with the design and creation of banners for school events. There will be a meeting today after school outside of the Student Council office. If you are interested but cannot attend, please see Flower Doe. We are also here with a reminder about the details for Spring Formal coming up, an evening of stars, which will be at the Renaissance Event Center on April 11th, which is quickly approaching. Doors open at 6, six and dinner will be served at 6.30. The first day of ticket sales will be on Monday, March 31st, and for that day only, the early bird ticket price will be $35. After Monday, tickets are $40. If you're thinking about bringing guests to Spring Formal, listen up. Guest forms are available outside of the Student Council office. To bring a guest, you must fill out a form and bring it, to the bring it back to a council member by tomorrow, Wednesday, March 26th. Currently, we have absolutely no guest forms returned, which means that at the moment, no guests will be attending our Spring Formal. No guest forms will be accepted after tomorrow. And if you don't fill out a guest form, you will not be able to bring a guest. Even if you aren't sure whether you're bringing someone to formal, fill out a guest form. No money needs to be handed in with the form. After the guests are approved, guest tickets will be sold the week of formal for $45. Make sure that if you might bring a guest, you pick up a guest form from outside the council office. Last formal, we completely sold out, so plan on getting your ticket as soon as you can. Tickets go on sale Monday the 31st for our one-day early bird price of $35. If you have any questions, ask any council member. That's all for us. See you at Spring Formal and Evening of Stars. Thanks, guys. There will be a very important eco-team meeting today right after school in room 110. You'll be discussing eco-certification the next, and the next steps for the greenhouse and water bo bottle selling. Thanks for Mr. Purs and Mr. Trabuco. Programming team will meet today and tomorrow after school to prepare for Program Mania. It's happening this Friday at STM. Thanks for Mr. Batarakia and Mr. Bellavia. Choir members are reminded of the practice today right after school. Please be prompt. Thanks for Mr. Walker. There will be a board game club meeting today at 3 o'clock in room 337. Thank you for Mr. Lorock. And this is a reminder to all of the yearbook team meet, uh, meeting tomorrow after school. All must attend. Thanks for Mr. Bellavia. Any students scheduled to have a focus on youth interview this Thursday, please note that it has been rescheduled for Monday, March 31st. It will be at the same time and location. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Nordoff in guidance. Have you completed or are currently taking grade 11 chemistry? If you are interested in writing the grade 11 of Gajo chemistry contest this year, please see Ms. Rosso this week. On April 8th, graduates from all seven high schools in our board are coming together for a social and a mass. The social is being held at Leona Station, where you can mingle with the graduates from other schools while enjoying lunch. And it's all at no cost to you. Following the social, you will be transported to the Cathedral Basilica to celebrate Mass with all of the graduates. If you'd like to attend, please see Mr. Lepore, Mr. Lawler, Mr. McNorgan, or Miranda Daly, and they will get you permission for him. Yesterday evening, our boys indoor soccer lost their final regular season game, STM 1-0. 
the boys put forward uh, uh, the boys put a good effort forward but were simply outplayed and ran out of time the boys have finished second overall in the league and play at the play st mary's tomorrow evening at 3 30 at players paradise although the boys not finished first it has been a long time since cathedral has finished in the second place spot and the coaches are proud of their hard work throughout the season the boys have finished with four wins one lo one draw and one loss now it's playoff time practices immediately after school t and players are to be in the gym and ready to go at three o'clock thanks from the coaches There'll be track practice tomorrow after school for all runners. New members are still welcome, especially grades 9 and 10. There's no morning practice this Thursday due to the literacy test. Thanks, I'm Coach Verasso. There will be one final meeting taking place this Friday right after school in front of the, in front of the chapel for any girls wishing to try out for the girls' slow pitch team. Though this will be your last opportunity to sign up. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Jordan or Mr. Nardoff. There's practice for the junior and senior boys rugby teams tonight at 7 p.m. in the main gym. And lastly, don't forget that tomorrow is our annual Cops and Cats charity basketball game. For $2, you can watch your favorite gale, cop, or cat as they battle each other on our court. Tickets will be available from your period 5 teacher tomorrow. And now, I'll pass it over to Mr. Boostai. Good Tuesday morning, Cathedral. Earlier, you heard an announcement asking all students who know that they need to rewrite the OSSLT to ensure that their name is on the list. After all, we need you to write this test and pass this test in order to graduate. It's also come to our attention that there's a name of a student who has written the test, who has successfully completed the test, but the name appears to be on our list. If you did write the test last year and you passed and you know you passed, please make sure you check the lists outside the uh, main office and outside the library to ensure that your name is not on the list. So once again, if you know you passed the test, you received confirmation last year, then please check to see if your name is on that list. If it is, I need you to visit Mrs. Siapana in guidance as soon as possible so we can have your name removed. Having said that, if you know you have to rewrite the test, please see Ms. Siapana if your name does not appear on the list. We want to make sure that our lists are accurate and that those students who need to write the test are writing it and those who do not, do not have their names listed. Thank you, and get, we'll go back to the desk. Thanks, sir. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Chaos, and thanks for watching. <laughs>